What's up guys, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Today, I'm gonna to be unlocking the 2020 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. So the Pathfinder got a full overhaul in 2013, giving customers a smoother ride and a little smoother drive. Less of an off-road feel to the Pathfinder. 2017, it saw another redesign, a refresh, and here we are, 2020. In this market, can the Pathfinder compete? Not too much technology as some of its competitors. I'm gonna go through the ins and outs. Before I do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to Cars Unlock, because I'm gonna be unlocking more vehicles as they arrive. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, at CVamWeekend, you can follow me on Instagram, DM me if you have any questions, or ask me in the comment section below. Let's get started with the front. On the front of the Pathfinder, obviously this one comes with Nissan Signature V-Motion grill it's in chrome it really pops especially with this exterior pearl white keep in mind that's an upgraded paint it's a three coat paint in the pearl white the headlights on the pathfinder are nissan's led low beam high projection headlights really good visibility when you're driving people can see you coming and you have nice visibility of the road especially with the fog lights that are down below some of the technology on the front of the vehicle, we do have the front forward facing camera right in our Nissan emblem there. It also has the intelligent emergency braking, which is gonna help decrease your stopping distance and avoid forward collisions. Side profile, you can see that we do have the rear privacy tinted windows. That's just gonna help protect your family from the UVs. Roof rails are on the top. You can add things on the top like cargo holders, canoes, whatever you want. You can get cross rail roof racks as well. With this Platinum, everything comes chrome in the exterior. You get the handles in chrome, you get the nice lower side sills which will add to your luxury look. I gotta talk about these mirrors. So not only are there memory mirrors, they are power folding and power tilt down mirrors. There's a camera right on the mirror here as well. That's for the 360 monitor that I'm gonna get to when we go inside. But when you put it in reverse, the mirrors will automatically tilt down, making it easier to park. That chrome exterior styling continues towards the rear, right on your trunk accent. And there's a nice chrome bumper accent as well. This one does have our rear sensors and a backup camera right on the back again to assist you with parking. It is four wheel drive. When you go up to the higher packages, you also get the tow hitch. The Pathfinder is one of the class leaders in towing. You can tow about 6,000 pounds. Perfect for whatever you need, boats, trailers. Another convenience feature, you do get the foot activated power lift gate there. So you just need to wave your foot right under and it's gonna automatically open the trunk. It's gonna make it easy when you have groceries and you're putting things in and your hands are full. Stepping up to the Platinum has its benefits. You do get these 20 inch Platinum aluminum alloy rims. It's gonna come with the all season tires. On the front and the back, we have 12 inch vented disc brakes as well. When we open the hood of the Nissan Pathfinder, we have 3.5 V6 engine, direct injection gasoline. It's been in the Pathfinder for a long time. That's gonna give you about 284 horsepower and 254 pounds feet of torque. Does come with Nissan CVT transmission, and you'd think it would get a little better fuel mileage, but the fuel mileage isn't as great as some of its competitors that do not have the CVT transmission. That's continuous variable transmission. This is gonna give you about 33 miles per gallon on the highway. Towing is phenomenal, like I said, 6,000 feet of towing. I'd like to see a little better fuel economy. The transmission and the acceleration, it doesn't accelerate as quick as you would hope and as some of its competitors do with the regular automatic. You get the remote engine starter. That is a key feature in the winter time, especially here in Canada. As long as the vehicle's locked, you can click and hold this and it will automatically start up. It does have Nissan's intelligent key there with the lock, unlock, and the trunk release as well. I can just come right up to the door and push the button here and then I can automatically get in and I'm good to go. On the interior of the Pathfinder, you can see this one is in the almond leather. There's two interior configurations, the almond and the charcoal leather. Obviously this one is in the almond. Again, I'm in the eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. The passenger is a four-way. I mentioned outside, you also have the memory settings. So there's two settings, so you can have memory seats. Perfect for husband and wife combinations, things like that. 
It also comes with the Platinum model, the wood trim that's all throughout the vehicle, so it really adds to the luxury look. The wood accents on the center consoles and on the door. The wheel is a nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. It does come with the power tilt and power telescopic steering wheel. That will also be memorized with your memory seating. So now that I've adjusted it, once I hit my memory seat, it will adjust back. So it will remember your seat, your wheel, and your mirrors. On the wheel, we have the cruise control. It does come with Nissan's intelligent cruise control, which is here. It's going to control the distance you are from the car in front of you, so you don't have to worry about adjusting your cruise control as you approach a car that's going a different speed. Our Bluetooth and voice recognition controls are on the left-hand side with our radio controls. And then I can control my vehicle information screen. When I look at the infotainment system, it does have Nissan's eight inch display. This is the hard drive navigation system, a little different than what's in the Rogues or the Muranos and the Maxima. And I really think they can do a better job with this. When I count up all the buttons, including the push button start, there's 44 buttons here. That's a lot of buttons. Uh, I don't get why Nissan doesn't take the infotainment system that they have in the Rogue and add it to the Pathfinder. They could el really eliminate a lot of these buttons. For example, a lot of these things I can do right on the, the touch screen here. You can use this to, to dial. Um, you can use the buttons here, but I can use the touch screen to go through everything, um, zoom in and out. I don't understand why we need all these buttons here, especially for things like uh, the radio. We have radio down here, but I can go audio here, and then I can go to the radio and I can use the touch screen to navigate through the radio. And it's basically the same buttons that are down here. We have the six presets, we have our radio buttons. Really the only thing that I like is I like a true dial for the volume and a true dial for tuning the radio. Other than that, you shouldn't need all these buttons because they're right on the touch screen. Obviously you need the DVD player, that's for the Tri-Zone Entertainment System, which I'm gonna get into a second. But another thing that we could eliminate is these heating controls. So for example, we do have the automatic heating controls down below. And if I push the climate button here, I can go right to the automatic heating controls right on the touch screen and I can adjust the temperature here and turn the AC on and adjust the fans. Why not just put it right on the touch screen and eliminate the buttons down here? Nevertheless, there's a ton of things you can do with this. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the tech's a little outdated. You don't get the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay in the apps. You can see there, there's not many apps to be used um, that some of its competitors have. You have the radio with the Bluetooth audio streaming. You get the voice activated navigation. The camera is the 360 camera like I mentioned. That's good, that has your moving object detection for parking. It does have the guidelines with the forward facing camera which you can see. But again, it is a very low pixel with this hard drive navigation. It doesn't look as clear as some of the other Nissan videos. And I think the Pathfinder can do a lot better in this section of the car. Add a bit more technology for families. Families want technology, especially because this one has the DVD players. You're gonna be going on long trips so this could be done a lot better. Two cup holders in the center stack. They aren't very big cup holders. Um, you're lucky you have this slit so you can fit a coffee mug or something. Our air conditioning controls for the seats are here and they are heated and air conditioned seats. It's a straight back shifter and then behind the shifter is our four x four dial. So you can see there's the two wheel drive, the automatic so it will automatically switch and then I can lock it. You also have your hill descent control, which you can activate right in the middle here. It does have blind spot warning, which is great on the highway as well, and that forward emergency braking that I mentioned. As much as I was knocking the infotainment system, I do really like the versatility of the passenger area in the back. These seats are very versatile. You can adjust them if you have kids. It's very easy to access the third row. It's Nissan's easy latch and glide seating system. You can also have your car seats hooked up and the seats won't fold. It's super easy. It's a one touch push up and you can access the third row very easily. People are surprised when I demonstrate this, how easy it is. There's also a rail at the bottom here that you can slide. If I wanna jump right into cargo mode, it's one latch and the seats will fold down. 
For your passengers, we have the center armrest. There's a little cell phone storage. These two seats are heated as well. And then we have the power outlet. If your kids wanna plug in and charge their phone, USB, USB-C, they can plug the headphones in if they wanna watch. And then we have the heating controls as well right in our center stack. With this Platinum model, you get the Tri-Zone Entertainment System. So that's the DVD players in each headrest. There's two eight inch monitors here. It's gonna come with two headphones. If you have more kids, you can purchase more headphones, but they are wireless headphones. So you don't need any cords hooked up or anything. You can watch DVDs. They can plug into the HDMI cable if they wanna play any other sources, video games, things like that. You can plug in and there's a power outlet to charge that uh, device. It also has a remote so you can control each um, each screen separately which is great and the volume fast forward your movies things like that when I access the third row there's actually a lot of space back here I can jump in it's a little harder for me doing this from the back but I can still sit here comfortable for long drives. I'm a bigger guy. Obviously your kids are gonna be smaller and they might have a little more space back here, but there's two seats back here. There's four cup holders in the back as well. Perfect for a family uh, that's over five passengers. And again, I'm pretty big and I can sit back here comfortably. For your cargo, we're gonna be able to hold 47 cubic feet of cargo capacity here. That's with these rear seats folded down. You can pull them up very easily just with the tethers here that's for your third row passengers and then you have 16 cubic feet of cargo volume there is a little hidden storage down below here where you can tuck away your uh, snow brush and your first aid kit and some important items if you want to hide those. So there you have it guys, that's your unlock on the Nissan Pathfinder. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment in the comment section below. As always, subscribe to Cars Unlocked because I'm going to be opening up all the Nissans as they arrive. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CVanWeekend. Thank you so much for all the support. Have a great day.